So recently we made a video for Descendant OS based on Android 12 for the Mi 11X. My experience with that particular ROM was pretty good. And when I saw that it is available for the Poco X3 Pro as well, I thought that you know I should give it a try and share it with you guys. So I installed it a couple of days back. I've been using it since then. The new different UI of this AOSP ROM is very, very intriguing and interesting. I've ran the benchmarks, I've used it as a daily driver and I'm here to share my opinion with you guys. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please follow us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members across different, different groups. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now let's see over here. This actually is not available in Poco X3 Pro updates. For some reason, the Android 12 version is what we are talking about. So I was not able to find a you know change log or what is new, what was added, what was removed. So we're going to see the system info and step by step, we will see all the things that matter to us, starting with the home screen. Now, the moment you boot into the home screen, this is your very, very general, typical Android 12 stuff. You have your assistant shortcuts over here, your Google search pill at the bottom, a bunch of icons, Google feed to the left, swipe from the top to bottom, and you have this particular UI and bam. This is where things change. This is where things look a little different. This data dashboard makes this ROM look different. You have the edit menu over here instead of here. Settings menu is here instead of here. And if you look at this particular section, you will see that you have the date, the time, the weather, emergency calls only is there because I've not inserted a SIM card the battery estimates, the silent mode, Wi-Fi. So the way this particular section on Descendant OS is customized, it looks really, really nice, but that's not the entire story, right? You would not want to flash a particular ROM just because it has some bunch of extra customizations here and there and it looks a little different and you, make, you can make those changes, right? So what we are going to talk about here is how really Descendant OS is a little different, but really, really smooth. So the first thing that matters to you is the smoothness on any given Android 12 custom wrong especially for the poco x3 pro because on this device with me and mi ui my experience has not been that great so when you talk about smoothness it's absolutely there it is very very fluid works cohesively no problem whatsoever so the camera situation on this rom is pretty decent because you do get google camera go which gives you better picture quality compared to some roms which give you the aosp camera you also have a portrait mode and stuff and trust me you are still better off using gcam on any USB ROM for that matter. You do have FM radio and a few other things. So let's go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. Let's click on the Android version. So the Android version here is Android version 12, as you can see, and the security patch is December. And as far as the kernel is concerned, this comes with the perf kernel. Now expect not so great, great performance with perf kernel. By not so great, I mean stock level performance because stock ROMs come with perf kernel as well, right? So we will see the benchmark numbers for that. Now, if you actually go to system, this is where a lot of interesting things start happening. You see this UI looks a little different and just see the smoothness over here, right? So we'll talk about the multitasking menu, but before that, say you go to network and internet, you have this new UI. You go to connected devices, you have this new UI. So they've made their attempt to look a little different from the over so crowded uh, custom ROM space. It is very crowded. You do have Android 12's notification history over here. Not that I'm complaining. More custom ROMs are better. Competition is better. If you go to the battery section, you do have thermal profiles, which gives you access to thermal profiles, but not the touch sampling rate, 180 Hertz touch sampling rate. If you talk about the battery usage, I've been on battery for like almost 24 hours. And if we look at the system usage, the screen has just been used for 40 minutes. We are still at some decent 30% of battery. The charging speeds are fine. As you can see, last full charge was 32 hours back. So yes, the standby time is good. The battery backup is pretty decent and that's something really, really neat. Now if I increase the brightness here over so little, what you'll see is that the entire settings menu is following Monet UI theming. That means it is looking a little pinkish because yeah, the pinkish menu is because of the wallpaper. So if you go and change the wallpaper to say something like this, something that is green, 
and then if we go to settings over here you see it does get this green accent which is really really a good thing under sound and vibration again you have a new ui you have some additional features here and there direct sound enhancer is present clear speaker is present under security you have all the security things and fingerprint scanner settings are present so the fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine as well and then you have something called as digital health i did say this in the me 11x video as well especially with the covid cases increasing day by day uh these guys are paying some attention to this you know there was a covid tracker like how many cases were there in india and stuff but i didn't really see it you know working but yes that option is there and it is working fine you do have live translate and then in gestures over here you have system navigation swipe to screenshot there you go which gives you access to the extended screenshot as well double tap to sleep on the lock screen and then you have something called as gesture magic now in gesture magic once you grant permission this is actually a third party application which is integrated into settings you you have shush call on pickup upon pickup gesture the call will be silenced answer call shush call on flip media halting resume media so these advanced gestures are present and they are working absolutely fine at the same time in some customization as i said you do have the data dashboard which gives you wifi usage of the last 24 hours sim usage of the last 24 hours download upload speed that is a you know speed meter and stuff like that so all those features are present and they are working absolutely fine including google feed now the google feed smoothness as always is there it is not a problem the screen recorder on this rom is present and it works absolutely fine so if you actually go to the edit menu over here you will see that you have very very few options including the privacy access tiles and talking about the multitasking menu it is very fluid and very very fast screenshot option works the select option works and everything is good to go now if you click over here or say you go to a different application click here you have app info multi window these things are present and they are working absolutely fine now let's actually go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers here so if you talk about the cpu throttle test the cpu throttle to 79% of its max performance the average score was 214895 gps so that's a decent score you know 214 on a Snapdragon 860 is really really good if you talk about the antutu numbers over here let's see what we have in antutu 574 379 now the stock rom scores are on 580 so this is a pretty decent score and if we then move on to the geekbench numbers 739 single core 2427 multi core so the you know numbers are pretty decent if you actually go to safety net you will see that the safety net passes just fine play store certification is present drm info has no issues at all you can watch netflix in high resolution and stuff like that so all in all descendant os is yet another rom which is smooth fast fluid gives you great battery life with decent charging speeds and very very decent performance all in all i like descendant os on mi 11x and the poco x3 pro as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.